You're such a baby. <sighs> Frisk? <laughs> <laughs> you look fun. Let me in. Huh? Sans! <laughs> Ketchup? <laughs> I want to eat that. Huh? Those are crepes. Unfortunately, we can't eat human food. There seems to be a crepe for monsters. Mm, that's right. <laughs> Do you want to eat Raz? <laughs> I'll eat it if you buy it for me. Blueberry cheesecake flavor! <laughs> hey, hey, is it on me? Of course, I came here for you. I'm glad! You looked fun too. What? Me being here was unavoidable. Yeah, yeah, I know. Which flavor do you like? Strawberry sponge cake flavored. Okay, well, I pick ketchup flavor. Is there such flavor like? Here you are. Wow, it looks delicious. Thank you. <laughs> uh, ketchup flavor is weird. This is yours. Uh, is it okay? These kids look just like me. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Don't treat me like a child. That's it. Pat made spatial juice and gave me. I'll give it for you. Spatial juice? Sweet and delicious. <laughs> oh, it's honey. Uh, I'm tired of being here. I have good time with you. Shut up. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are happy. Why do you think that? Oh. by the way, he asked me to take care of my brother. Well, first off, the entire skeleton family is troubled. I hope nothing bad happens. Is this the calm before the storm? After that, various things happened. They are attacked by bad people. Berry and Raspberry fight together to protect Ketchup, who only has one HP. Bad guys are disciplined. Don't let him lay even one finger on him. I'll be frank with you. As much as I like putting hot dogs on your head... In another timeline, he made me do a lot of things. <sighs> I want to mess with him. Stop, please. <laughs> Frisk, pull the lever! <laughs> Frisk, pull the lever! Sure, sweetie. Wrong lever! Does science ever take those goggles off? Does the scientist ever take off his goggles, or does he just walk everywhere with them still on? Heh, <laughs> they're just for work. But between us, Wearing them, people think I'm busy, so they don't ask me for favors because I'm working. I heard that. Y you? Not a word. Oh, is little kitty getting grumpy? Watch it, pal. What about Sen's cat and Fritz carried him more often? That's so cute! That's not a bad idea at all. What thing, sweetie? Uh, nothing, nothing. Hi! If I needed something from your lab, would I need a prescription? Ooh. Yeah, you need a perf. <laughs> Sans! Sorry, dollface. You'll have to prepare another one. <laughs> Straight face emoji. Beaker. Skull emoji. Ready for the test, kid? Yep. I studied with mom all week. So, are you telling me that you're ready for the big leagues? Because from what I remember, you were the first test that your mother passed. Is there a reason why she did it a second time? Uh, what? <laughs> Thanks for helping me with this papyrus. Worry not, I know how to hit him where it hurts the most. And this photo was taken just before he lost the tooth. Aww. Close that damn book, Pap. This was his first baking soda volcano. He looks so happy. But how did you manage to make the baking soda react like that? I didn't use baking soda. <laughs> this one was when he saw a frog get run over on the sidewalk near our house. He tried to do what a mad scientist did in an old-fashioned movie, but only managed to overcook the thing. Oh, Sans, I'm so sorry. You really wanted to save that little being, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I remember Dad making fun of me because the whole house smelled like burning chicken. Well, it wasn't the first time that I tried to do something like that. I suppose when he saw me with the frog in my hand, the crazy old man ran to get the camera. Controlling life and death was always a thing, since you can't create life from scratch. Are you sure? Uh, sure. Of course I'm damn sure. You can't create life without... F -f Frisk, what, what are you implying by that? You... You couldn't be... Uh, unless... Unless what, Sweeney? 
Maybe our little experiment was indeed a success. I, uh, it, it was? This is, it's not just a cruel joke that you're giving me back, right? I'm, I'm going to be at the, 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 And this one is my brother, crying for being a daddy. Your living picture of our father, Papyrus. Something tells me that you will be a good father, brother. Yeah, you, you damn sadist. The sun streaming through the living room window was what first began to rouse Sands from his slumber. He grumbled as he tightened his eye sockets. He found himself making a mental note to buy curtains for that annoying window and threw a hand limply over his forehead in an attempt to shade himself from the sun's pestering rays when he suddenly remembered where he was. (laughs) They must have shifted in their sleep. The second thing that he noticed was the woolly blanket that had somehow ended up tucked up around him. Now, how did that get there? The third thing he noticed was his brother sitting in the chair that Sans had brought from the kitchen. Paps, you're up? Yes, brother. I was going to wake you as well. But you just seemed, oh, so comfortable. This this isn't, n- that's not. <laughs> Relax, Sans. I'm only teasing. I wasn't implying anything. <laughs> so, your majesty couldn't wait for me to finish this first? You're going to get me in trouble, you know. Oh, so is that your plan then? What a malicious cat, huh? What a bad and cute kitty. <laughs> <laughs> it only took a kiss to know this. Baby, I'm in love with you. One look is all it took to say I do. And baby, when you smile, I'd walk a mile. Oh, just to be with you. For the chance at a glance to say me too. So when it comes to those other guys, this may come as no surprise. I don't get jealous. I don't worry, because I love you. It only took a kiss, but what a kiss. And baby, I love you. What a look. Oh, your look that says I do. And baby, I agree, I'd rather be nowhere else but here, my dear. There's no place. No place. I feel so safe. So safe. Then here with you. Here with you. It's like finding a penny and picking it up. And all day you have good luck. It only took a look. It only took a smile. It only took a kiss. Hmm. The young woman made herself place the tray on a side table and pull up a chair with perfect unconcern, as if she couldn't feel him staring her down. I see you're all healed. You must have slept well. Hmm. I know I did. Uh, you were alone the whole time? This very comfortable couch in my office that I've been using. Your office, huh? Pretty nice setup you got here. What is this, silk? Real feathers? I would have removed you from your cell much sooner if I'd known you were there. <clears throat> no one told me until Duke Archibald asked me to help you select your new owner. Which, no, I am not. May I ask how you were caught? <clears throat> You're certainly capable of defending yourself. I figured it was poisoned or drugged or s- Humans don't get their mitts on a boss monster every day. But you can't have the sorcerers watching me every second. Feeding me some kind of crap like that would be the easiest thing to do. <laughs> that didn't feel quite right. <laughs> but without more evidence, the priestess decided to leave it for now. <sighs> Instead, she pulled the side table closer and removed the tray's cover. Sands didn't answer. The young woman was thinking of what else to say. When he grunted and turned to stretch back out on the bed, splaying his limbs across the huge mattress. This is the most comfortable place I've ever slept, you know that? Me too. Uh She said before she could stop herself. Sands glanced up, as if wondering whether he'd seen a glimpse of personality, and she cleared her throat. Is it the same reason you made no attempt to break out of your cell for three days? Got caught trying to steal some grain. Not a lot of food in the underground these days. Haven't had anything for a while, so I was weak. You refused to eat anything while you were imprisoned. 